Welcome to day number four of our devotions. Ravi Zacharias was speaking in 2013 at a conference in Nashville, Tennessee for Christian counselors and he was speaking on the uniqueness of Jesus. While speaking he mentions the three conversions after the resurrection. One, Saul of Tarsus to Paul. Two, doubting Thomas to the evangelist to India. And three, James, the brother of Jesus. So powerful in their testimony to the resurrection of Jesus that changed history. It was hope hope beyond the grave, and hope for now. Let us look at another example of hope for the now during times of uncertainty. Again, Ravi Zacharias was speaking on the topic of Christian hope. He said this about King George VI. In 1939, everything about the world was going to be redefined. The war was looming. Tens of thousands were going to be decimated. King George VI, with the stuttering malady that he suffered from, went to the microphone because he knew that someone had to bring hope to this world. He did not know at that time during his speech that he himself had cancer. It became one of the most historic speeches. You may have heard of or seen the movie, The King's Speech. You can go into almost any bookstore in England and asked for King George VI speech in 1939. In the context were these famous words. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light that I might tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. This poem had great effect on the royal family. In the foreword to the book released, to celebrate our current Queen Elizabeth 90th birthday. The title of the book, The Servant Queen and the King She Serves, states that it was a young Princess Elizabeth, herself, age 13, who handed the poem to her father. These words remained a source of comfort to the Queen Mother for the rest of her life. She had the words engraved on stone plaque and affixed to the gates of King George VI Memorial Chapel at Windsor Castle, where the King was interred. The Queen Mother was also buried here in 2002. And the words, the gate of the year, were included in a reflection in a funeral order of service.
In Psalm 71, verses 1 to 5, we read, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Never let me be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, Sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Going down to verses 14 to 16. As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long. Though I know not how to relate them all, I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Tomorrow we will examine the hope of Doubting Thomas. May we pray the prayer Queen Elizabeth prayed at Easter. We know the coronavirus will not overcome us, as dark as death may be, particularly for those suffering with grief. Light and life are greater. May the living flame of the Easter hope be a steady guide as we face the future. Amen.